Greetings everyone, it's the Average Movie Viewer. Oh, episode 3. We make progress. So, uh, today's gonna be a fun day. I'm going up to Erina. I'm gonna go pick up some Blu-rays for my collection. I've decided to finally buy m pretty much most of the rest of the Marvel movies that I need to buy. I've, I already own 8 of them, so I've, I think, what, that's 10 more to buy. So, it's gonna, gonna cost a little bit, but I'm willing. Uh, after that, um... No, I'm not too sure what I have planned for the rest of the day because my arm is still pretty sore from that needle. So, um, yeah. The idea is just going to go up to Erinov just for the morning, get some food, get my movies, and come back home. So, I'll catch you guys when I'm on my way up. I was sitting at the train station now, just waiting to <laughs> get the train to Gosford and get another bus up to Erinov. Whew. I thought it was actually going to be cold today, but it's pretty warm. So, it's pretty surprising, but I shouldn't have worn a jumper, it's pretty hot. <laughs> My bag's like way too small to be able to uh, fit <laughs> to fit my jumper, so I'm going to have to lug it around all day. Uh, but, no. Nope. We're getting close today, Erna, so I'll catch you guys up when I'm actually on the bus or on the train, doesn't matter. But either way, when we get to Erna, going straight to JB and going to buy my movies. Oh, it's gonna be a it's gonna be a good morning. Maybe 20, 30 minutes, so. It's nice and cool. Now it's gonna be warm here in the shopping center, so. Oh, time to head straight to JB, and I think I'm gonna get myself something to eat. Erin is a beautiful place. There's the best place here, Point Cinema. Here it is, my home away from home. JB Hi Fi. How you doing? Oh. Yeah, getting there. Here we go. This is what I'm looking for. Um, right. Well, we got a lot of choices to pick from here. So as you can see, JB Hi-Fi has a great selection for movies. So all I gotta do is search for my uh, Marvel movies, see if there's any other little things here I wanna pick up and that's it.
Well, I've just come out of JB Hi-Fi with a big ass bag. I'll show you the contents when I get home, but I feel like I did a pretty good pickup today. Expect I come, you know, spend an extra 50 bucks than I should have, but you know, when you see a pop, certain pop vinyl that you got to pick up, you just got to pick it up. <laughs> well, either way, I'm going to stop in and get some lunch, and then I'm on my way back home, fellas. Oh, we're making a detour. We're stopping at EB. Just checking what pop vinyls they've got. <laughs> you can get Serta? That's cool. Pretty cool collectibles that you can pick up. But I don't have the money to spend it. Alright, let's go get food now. I'm hungry. We're back at home. Now it's time for what I promised you. The showcase of what I bought. I got quite a, I actually picked up quite a few Blu-rays today. Quite excited about it. Uh, let's see. Let's start from here. We got The Incredible Hulk. Ugh. Some shine on there. Didn't don't like that. And I Captain America, the first Avenger. Uh, Thor and Thor the Dark World. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, Ant Man, Iron Man 2, and Iron Man 3. <clears throat> Pretty happy about that pickup. And now, probably the best pickup. This is to go towards my pop vinyl collection The Death Star Battle between Obi Wan and Vader. I believe, I, that's a sick pickup, I believe. Didn't expect JB to actually start selling more pop vinyls, but I'm glad they are. And, you know, that, and if you guys actually want, I can, well, I'll probably be doing it anyway. I'll do a showcase of my, uh, my pop vinyls. So, uh, they're, they're, they're just my regular ones, and they're what I can, what I consider my rare and favorite ones. And I'm a, I'm a big collectible fan, so of course I'm going to buy the ones that I love. And because of all the Blu-rays, um... I can always put up a uh, Blu-ray collection video, which I've got plenty of and a big variety. So, you know, I've got, there are all the regular ones, my steel books, collector's editions and stuff like that. So, I've got a big set. So if you guys actually, so if you guys are interested, I'll be, um, I'll make one of that, I'll make a video of that and you guys can check it out. But, um, nah, at the moment. Uh, I just got back, so I think I'm just gonna like have a little bit of a rest, play some Xbox. Uh, I think my mate Kai's gonna drop around just for a little bit, so uh, if we get up and if we find anything interesting to film, I'll shove the camera on. But uh, other than oh, look at that! Finally, get to see me without my hat on. <laughs> it's been a while. It's been a while since that's been shown, but 
Yep, that's what I look like without my hat on, but I prefer to leave my hat on. <sighs> Much better. So, thank you for joining me down at Erina. Um, if anything else happens, I'll be uh, jumping back on. But, oh, and, you know, actually, we got some more information. You know, we've got Avengers Infinity War actually crossing a billion dollars faster than The Force Awakens did, which I had a feeling it might, but Star Wars is such a big thing. I'm honestly shocked that it, it was taken over by Avengers. Then again, it is Disney versus Disney at the box office, so no matter what, they've won. Disney's won. They know what they're doing. I needed that. There we go. Oh. And because I'm, I'm really, you know, I'm really worn out still from having my flu, my influenza flu needle yesterday. And I was actually going to film this yesterday, but, you know, I'm glad I actually had got to wait today because it turned out to be a better day. Um, I'll be working on some more, some more stuff here for you. You know, I've, I've, it, even though I've already seen Infinity War, it's not going to be in this list after I compile it all and explain my top Marvel movies, then I will be placing it into a number. So I'll be working on that. And I believe that's really all I've been, that's really all i got planned to do today. Well, something interesting has happened. I thought I wouldn't have anything else to do for tonight, but it looks like I've got something. The Dark Souls Remastered test server's out. And... I'm happy. I, I'm actually really excited for this because, you know, Dark, I've been waiting a while for this remaster to come out. We've, there's only about two weeks or so for it to come out, but I'll, but we have a but we have a first little glance of what's going to happen. So let's have a, let's have a little quick look at this, shall we? Let's see what they've done to this game. So there's no real actual customization. We just have to pick a class, do we? All right then. I'm gonna go with a warrior of sunlight. Solid, jolly cooperation. Oh, I've been waiting so long. Wow. Okay. Wow. It already looks so much smoother. And there's so oh, and there's summon signs or uh, like, wow! I've already got a lot of summon signs. Okay, I don't know. I just want to summon. Oh, oh, summoning failed. Of course. What about this summon sign? about this summon sign. Summoning back. Oh, looks like I uh, looks like I don't get to test out the server with anyone. But I remember this area quite. Oh, look at that. A big boy up there, the big rhino. I rem I'm remembering this so well. But then again, I did only play the, <laughs> the original title not that long ago, so I do know slightly what I'm doing. This is more or less just to have a look to see what the game's like. I got to say, I am liking it. Oh yes, and. been invaded. Oh, yay! We have our invader!
Don't oh, try to get for the back side, is he? Oh, that fucking back. Oh, that backstab. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Uh, that's a good showcase of uh, how different the combat is from Dark Souls 3. Uh, it's been a while since I've played Dark Souls 1's combat, so it's going to take a while to get back used, like, to get back into the flow of things here, but... Other than that, though, I do like the look of this game. The game looks rather good. Combat feels fluent enough. Hmm. Menu's all the same. Aha, uh -huh, yes, and of course we have uh, the good old two rings only. Sure, there's more to test in here, but I just wanted to see the look of this, and it looks so much more crisp. It just it just looks better. Nothing different combat wise. Nothing nothing different really gameplay wise. Feels all the same, especially the invasion. That was some like I don't know, those good old glitch fucking backstabs. But nah, I like the look of it. It looks it looks so much better. I'm I'm happy with what I'm I'm happy with this. Cannot wait. Two weeks can't come any sooner. And on that note, we've come to the end of episode three. Oh well, today was today was a fun day. Going up to Erina, getting some Blu-rays, pop vinyls. Just what I do. That's just what I. That's just who I am. I like to. I like to buy movies. I like. I like to collect my collectibles. And of course, I'm a. I'm a big fan of games and movies. Uh, I've, I've almost finished. I've almost finished writing out this Infinity War discussion. I, I want to get as much detail in as I can to have a to have a good topics on this movie because this movie is insane and it's going to take a while to talk about. And so I'd like to thank you for joining me today on this on episode three. Uh, more to come in the future. Please subscribe for more content to come, and you know leave a comment down below. Uh, hit you know hit the thumbs up button. It gets the channel you know gets the channel out there. And, you know, thank you for your continued support, and I am The Average Movie Viewer, and I'll see you guys next time.